Look at these eyes. I have never lied to you. Never. I never will. I'd rather die than lie to God's people. Look at these eyes. I have never lied to you. Never. I never will. I'd rather die than lie to God's people. A mining and energy investor, Indonesian Rossi Hanyaku. A British educated Indonesian who runs an iron ore mine, Abdul Hakam Hadi. Here he's pictured with the Malaysian architect of the deal, Faizan Hassan. He spun the web of front companies through which the money would be laundered. Faizan's Facebook account shows he was in Iran in early 2015, the time of the plot. And this email from Tan Kuan Yu suggests the cash came not from Indonesia, but Iran. We caught up with Mr. Faizan in a luxury mall in the Malaysian capital. Mr. Faizan, my name is Will Jordan. I'm from Al Jazeera's investigative unit. I wanted to talk to you about the Maldives, about cash flying into the Maldives under your company, City Trust, as administrator. You know anything about that? Sir, so, do you know Tang Kuan Yu? Tang Kuan Yu, I've... Tang Kuan Yu. Kuan Yu, Kuan Yu. Tang Kuan Yu from Singapore. Ah, he has a company yeah. called Idea5, Tanstar. I've, I've heard, I've, I've uh, met him before. Abdul Hakam Hadi? Hakam Hadi, yes, I've heard the major. What's your relationship with him? Uh, he's, he's, uh, he comes back to our office. And Rossi Hanyaku? Of course, I've, I've, I've met him before. He's an Indonesian guy. So we have evidence of plot. So fly in <laughs> hundreds of millions, up to $1.5 billion in cash. Wow. And take them on this. Yeah. That's a lot of money. And transfer it to the State Bank of India. Huh? And from the state to an account under the name of City Trust and Administrator. Yeah, that's a lot of money. And it looks like money laundering. Why would anyone want to move that kind of cash? Why would I want to do? Are you Are you trying to move cash into the Maldives? I've been I've been doing this business for 35 years, and I don't do such things. So do you help people launder money? My God, how can you even say that? Say to my face, how can you even say that? Sir, do you offer a service in which I can bring large amounts of cash to you, and you will clean it for me? <laughs> no way. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But that's not what Mr. Faizan had told our undercover reporter minutes earlier. Hi, Mr. Faizan. How are you? I'm very close I've, I've seen your picture. He met Mr. Faizan under the guise of being an investment executive with a number of very wealthy clients. Yes. I've uh, set aside time for you. Do you take note? No, thank you. We basically look after high net worth individuals. We, we told him our clients were looking to move large amounts of cash, had political connections, and wanted total secrecy. This strongly suggests corruption and should raise red flags. But for Mr. Faizan, it was business as usual. Some of these individuals have very substantial sums. Some of it's in, in, some of it's in cash, and I know that might be an issue. Or, no, okay. I was, re I was reading the. The businessman appeared well connected. It's not about the uh, know how, it's the know who. <laughs> it is no who. Mr. Faizan outlined what he could and what he couldn't do for us. They say money dirty. To me, I don't deal with arms uh, and drugs. I can only say they, they don't sell arms. My function is clear. The conversation turned to money laundering. How do you get around the issue of cash? I mean, if we have lo very large quantities of cash, how do you balance it? Well, it's pretty sizable. Three hundred, five hundred. Well, not that big. So then that's not big. Enough. Seriously, and that's a physical. I mean, that physical yeah, transaction is is huge, yeah. achievable. Yeah. Wow. Sure. What currency? Well, it's euros. It would be euros and sterling. Is that okay? Because euro dollars can be quite tricky. Because of the 
general um, currency comes yeah. out to clear the track. The headings. Is it? But well, euros are much easier. Euros yeah. so much easier. Really. He had one concern that the deal was so large it would disrupt the euro currency market. Although euros, uh, the placement rate is not as fast because the market cannot absorb so yeah. much immediately, but it can be done. The deal involved absolute secrecy, hiding our names behind several shell companies. Uh, let's put it this way, I've layered some of these structures to up to seven layers. Really? Yeah. So various jurisdictions, but this is a huge. So say seven doors, which you have to go to, to, go to get to the identity of the beneficiary. And even at the end of it, for it, the identity of the owner is actually a foundation to mine it. And yeah, it goes more. And that foundation, they come back to me and say, yeah. So you know, and it's actually a panel of foundation. Right. Oh, <laughs> is it still? The dirty money would go through a central bank in the region. You'll come to a, a country in Asia, so I can see for now. Yeah, and that comes your uh, with the central bank. Mr. Fidzan told us we have misunderstood his comments and taken them out of context. Fidzan Hassan, Tan Kuan Yu, Abdul Hakim Hadi, and Rossi Han Yakub deny any wrongdoing in the plan to transport cash and say no money was moved. It's time to begin telling the truth because you're going to have to meet your maker soon. <laughs>